Hello Internet, welcome to another interesting topic on microprocessors. Today I've come up with a very very interesting topic. This is a comparison of all the flag registers ranging from 8086 onwards. Uh, in this video uh, I wish to uh, compare the flag registers of all the family members ranging from 8086 to Intel. The reason why I'm doing this is the fact that there is an interesting correlation between the designing of the flag registers as we uh, design more intricate microprocessors and the second reason is that if we study the basic microprocessors well then it does not um, become difficult to understand more complicated microprocessors because uh, the flag registers are upward compatibles so this is what I'm going to illustrate in this video and I'll not talk, o talk about the functioning of flags although I've written down the names of the flags uh, on the side but the main objective of this video is to show you how the size of the flag register has not affected the chronological study and the upward compatible behavior of the microprocessors architectures. So let us begin. Uh, we all know that 8086, 8088 and 80186 are 16-bit microprocessors. Uh, but the mentioning of 16-bit microprocessor has got nothing to do with the size of the flag register. The size of the flag register is 16-bit in 8086. Uh, the reason for that is we have uh, 10 flags in 8086 as you can see we have carry parity auxiliary carry zero sign trap interrupt direction and overflow flags here now i want you to carefully see the positions of uh, the bit numbers of these flags in the 8086 flag register if you look at the bit numbers of these flags uh, you'll find that when you go on to the next level of microprocessor which is 80286 80286 again has a 16-bit flag register but it has all the flags that were there in 8086 placed exactly in the same order uh, with, an, with an exception of addition of three new flags and those are IOP uh, L which are input output privilege level so we, we could set the input output privilege level in 80286 uh, and that to at two different levels we had two flag registers to set privilege levels for the peripheral devices connected to that microprocessor and then we have nested task again again a flag which was native to 80286 we did not see this flag in the previous versions of the intel architecture of microprocessors so an interesting uh, interesting chronological progression here then we move on to 80386 and 80486 what you see here is all the flags are intact all the flags are positioned at the same bit positions for example carry was at zero uh, right from the very beginning and up to bit number 14 everything remains the same but the addition of new flags takes place at bit number 16 17 now the reason that happens is because we wanted to make the flag register consistent with uh, the uh, size of the mic microprocessor for example a0386 is a 32-bit microprocessor so it, it becomes imperative to uh, make the flag register likewise so uh, we've extrapolated the new area from bit number 16 to 31 and we've accommodated the flags there and the new flags are resume flag and virtual mode flags I've mentioned the names of all the flags 
on on this side of the um, presentation so uh, although uh, we've got a lot of wastage happening in terms of the space not being utilized um, then finally we, we go on to 80486SX by the way 80486DX used to have this flag register and 80486SX has an additional flag which is uh, alignment check so this alignment check gets its, its position at bit number 18 an interesting fact nothing changes and uh, you can see everything is upward compatible so all the flags that were there in the previous architecture of the microprocessor they were kept at the same position so Intel has done a sig marvelously significant uh, job here in up upgrading the flag registers now I'll put forward I'll write down an interesting fact if you were to go even um, back in chronology of microprocessor design we started off with uh, 8085 and if you remember the flag register of 8085 was just 8 bit long so we could make on top of this the flag register of 8085 which was simply an 8 bit register and incidentally all the flags are placed at exactly the same location as they are in the other microprocessors. Um, 885 only had five flags and just look at the position of those flags. It totally coincides with the location of 886, 286, 386 and 486. These, these were the initial Intel uh, Pentium uh, families. So the progression is really impressive and the study of the comparative study of all all these flag registers is an interesting one and that is why I thought of putting it forward to you and I hope this interesting tutorial was of some help and if you liked the content of this tutorial please consider subscribing to the channel you have a good day ahead bye